Hey, how y'all doing out there? I got some old crazy news for y'all. Now, there's some rumors going around here that R. Kelly allegedly getting ready to snitch on Ryan Isley, Kevin Samuels, Creflo Dollar, and a whole bunch of other people out there. And I don't blame him for allegedly trying to deny it just in case somebody tried to do something to him before he say what he got to say. Look at this, y'all. Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. R. Kelly reportedly ready to reveal other celebs that dated underage girls. Now, y'all already know that R. Kelly wasn't the only one out there dating underage girls. And I got love for Ryan Isley and Kevin Samuels, but I'm about to share with y'all the reason why these allegations even came up in the first place, man. Me personally, I don't believe Ryan Isley, Kevin Samuels, Creflo Dollar, or none of them had nothing to do with no underage girl. I'm just here to provide y'all with this information that I received so you can make up your own mind about the situation. According to reports, R. Kelly is trying to work out a deal with prosecutors to reduce his jail time by snitching on other celebrities that have been involved with underage girls. Now, Ryan Isley married a young lady named Candy, and Creflo Dollar married a young lady named Taffy. So it's safe to say that when they got with these women, it was like stealing candy from a baby, y'all. And not to mention, Ryan Isley did a couple of nasty songs with R. Kelly that went over y'all head. It's 2 a.m., I'm just getting in, about to check my message. No one called, but my home is in some bill collectors. Oh my goodness. We about to get into his tax issues in a minute. Cellular ring, somebody wants to buy some money. I two-way her, she don't hit me back. Something is real funny. So I called her mama house and asked, have she seen my baby? Drove my six around looking for that missing lady. Got back in, turned the TV on, and caught the news. Then I put my hand on my head, because I'm just so confused. Just in case y'all ain't know what was going on then, the same way y'all ain't know all Kelly was peeing on them girls, allegedly. It sound like Ryan Isley's daughter got kidnapped, y'all. Oh my goodness. And wait till y'all see who he find her with. He said, then I turned the TV down, TV down, because I thought I... Heard a squeaky sound, something going on upstairs, yeah. Cause I know nobody else lives here, here. Bump, bump, as I get closer to the stairway, all I hear. And then I hear my baby's boys a scream. Now y'all heard the song before, R. Kelly up there doing something he ain't got no business doing. Now here go the part when Ryan Isley catch R. Kelly with his daughter allegedly, y'all. What the hell is going on between the sheets in my home? Baby, wait, let me explain before you start to point your cane. Oh my goodness. Ryan Isley can barely walk, walk around with that cane talking about he heard a squeaky sound. Nigga, them your knees squeaking. He said, girl, I'm about to have a fit. Oh, this about to be some sh How did I get into this? Shoulda never came home with this chick. Low down dirty woman, back to where you come from, but baby, wait, wait, my ass hit the streets, your ass is grass. Oh my goodness. Now this will happen when you got old folks trying to do hip hop songs, yo. Now I can go on and on with these lyrics, but a lot of people out there saying that this song is proof that R. Kelly was messing with Ryan Isley's daughter. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section. But one thing for sure, Mr. Ryan Isley liked them young girls too. Look at this, y'all. Who is Ryan Isley's wife, and what is their age difference? We about to get into that deal, but before we do, I gotta say this, man. I love me some Ryan Isley, and yeah, he got a young wife, but she ain't no child or nothing like that, but he do like them youngins. Look at this here. At the time of their marriage, Isley was 64 years old, while Johnson was 28 years old. Today, Isley is 79, and his wife is 44. And that's all right, because they both grown. But what I want to know is how long you been liking younger women like that, Dale. If you 100 years old and your wife only 50, then maybe you need to go to jail. 
did he just now start liking younger women? Did he like younger women when he was younger? All I can say is I'm glad this brother's still alive. He healthy. He got a beautiful wife. I'm happy for Ryan Nisley, but this don't look too good. You being buddy buddy with all Kelly and you also got a young tenderoni on your arm. Oh my goodness. Man, I can go on and on about Ryan Nisley, but out of respect for Mr. Biggs, I'ma just go ahead and let it go, man. He a grown man, got beautiful children. He living his life. Let's just hope all Kelly don't go out there and say nothing crazy, man. And the reason why they putting him up to this is because they don't want us to have no legends. We ain't got no Bill Cosby. Michael Jordan don't care nothing about the people. I mean, who we got left? Y'all gonna have to let me know in the comment section. And also, Kevin Samuels getting some heat because he been talking real bad about these sisters and it was only a matter of time before the Me Too movement caught up with him as well. Got all these young ladies calling up there talking and laughing and crying and giggling next thing you know he say something wrong now they trying to put him in the same box with all kelly y'all youtube dating guru kevin samuels accused of stealing a young married woman not no grown married woman not no middle-aged married woman but a young married woman y'all kevin has a very unique style of offering dating advice much of his advice which is aimed at black women centers around telling black women they should lower their dating standards according to kevin black women have unrealistic expectations when it comes to dating but it's not kevin's advice that has people talking it's his new much younger girlfriend kevin who is 55 posting new pics online suggesting that he's not dating a 29 year old girl y'all oh my goodness so what if Kevin Samuels is dating a younger girl? She grown, ain't like she no baby. But like I said, man, this Me Too movement gonna try to push the line with these brothers. If you out here getting a bag, you gonna have to watch your back. They sicking all Kelly on people. You just never know what's gonna happen. Now look at this girl Kevin Samuels fooling with. Oh man, she bad, y'all. Look, Kevin, do she got a friend? She got a cousin. Matter of fact, where her mama at? Oh man, she a beautiful brown sister. Got them afro puffs, got them magic marker eyebrows. I think she fine, man. It don't seem like she ready. She already ready. She grown and they still trying to drag this brother down. Look, Kevin, you ain't doing nothing wrong. Keep on doing what you doing. She slim, she in shape. She don't look like no walrus. Oh my goodness. They just don't want a brother to have nothing out here. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section, man. Do y'all think Kevin Samuels guilty? Do y'all think Ryan Isley wrong for dating them younger women? At least he married the woman. And if you do hear some stories about Ryan Isley peeing on somebody, that man almost 100 years old. That's what them nurse aides get paid for. When you old like that, that's your God-given right to pee on somebody. Like I said, man, I don't believe Ryan Isley out there doing nothing. He ain't got no business doing. Kevin Samuels can't help the fact that it's a bunch of beautiful young ladies want to call him and talk to him and be around him, man. R. Kelly, if you listening, man, don't be telling on these good brothers out here. Now, if you know some bad people out there in the industry that's doing stuff they ain't got no business doing, then go on and tell on them folks. Believe Ryan Isley, Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, and all them holy men out of it, man, because people go to church to get love. And people listen to Kevin Samuels to get advice, man. We got to have some legends out here. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. This all allegations and news I be hearing around here in the projects. Crackheads going to talk. You know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, man. Also, hit that notification button. Don't forget to hit that cash app, too. Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I got so much love for y'all. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, yeah. You know you subscribe you know you want to you might as well subscribe you know you want to you might as well subscribe you know you want to you might as well subscribe you know you want to you might as well subscribe you know you want to you might as well subscribe Subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. Sean got the jocks, I'm keeping it funky like some socks. Ponytail with the box, and my cell phone look like a box. Try not to get 
shell shot When I start busting out the docks I got secret video tapes of your mom cussing out your pops All over a box of corn pops This rhythm got your pops